If you follow me on Instagram, then you probably saw the basket that I left on my neighbor's front porch. They have three children and they're good neighbors. But this is a hospitality basket that is an example of something that you might want to do if you are feeling the spirit of giving during this trying time. This is a basket that was in my haul video that I put out. And it's just a picnic basket, of course. If you've seen my other videos, you know that you can use any type of basket and really it doesn't even have to be a basket per se. It can be any kind of container that you like. So let's get started. When I was creating my basket, there was a water shortage in the stores and so I placed water bottles in my basket. Now, depending upon the challenges that you are facing geographically, you may not need to include waters. But in my case, they were a nice addition. And since they had children, I believe I put maybe, I don't know, eight or ten waters. I put a nice little card here I basically let them know that everything had been wiped down and sanitized in case there was any question. And I also thanked them for being a great neighbor. for the dog barking as I am home and stuck in the house I am allowing more sounds to come into these little homemade videos and being a lot less picky about it just because I'd rather bring you more content than to wait for perfection Now, dependent upon what you have access to, you may or may not be able to include items like disinfectant spray. This is basically the 
Walmart version of Lysol. With Lysol being such a commodity, you may or may not be able to include it. But it would be a nice addition in this time. They are recommending that we disinfect our doorknobs, our phones, and pretty much every bit of your household that you're going to touch with your bare hands. So, for that reason, this is kind of a perfect gift if you can afford to spare. Okay, now let's have a peek inside here. Let's see what other goodies we have. Hmm. Some items are just for fun and to keep it lighthearted. Maybe your neighbor is not suffering from COVID-19 but maybe they've got a little allergy problem. That's really common in my neck of the woods. Or perhaps you just like herbal tea. And this could be coffee or really anything. Something I think that is just a little extra fun piece. choose to use sealed packets in this case. However, you can also use the individually sealed packet. Still safe, but it would allow you to use a little bit less. Depends on how many people are going to be receiving the basket. You may choose to pull out a few different packets from, say, an assortment pack like the previous one. And what I would do is simply take these little packets, place them in a mug, just like this pretty mug. I really love that Moroccan style print. simply leave them in the basket. Of 
course, one of the precious items that I left in my neighbor's basket was some hand soap. I put two in my basket, but I think that one is sufficient. Gets the point across. It's a kind of, we're all in this together, so let's share in our resources type of moment. You should be able to find these in your stores locally by now, but if you can't, then as with any of these products, you can leave that one out. You only want to share what you have, obviously, but when you have a surplus like we had, it's nice to be able to help someone else. This is milk and golden honey moisturizing hand soap, but I also got some pink peony and some citrus. And if you are unsure, of course, you can just make some educated guesses. But I think that your neighbor will be pleased with anything that you give. It's more about the thought. Now, many of you know this about me, that I like to create my own products. I like to make soaps and bath bombs and lotions and the like. And so, as a result of that, I've got a closet full of ingredients that can be used in a myriad of ways. And I was fortunate to have some alcohol and some other things needed to create hand sanitizer. Now, we are hearing many recommendations that it's actually much safer and better to use soap and hot water and hand sanitizers are simply backups but I think it's a nice little backup to have maybe you wash with soap and water and then spray afterward. This is created using 91 to 99% alcohol. Uh, I used the recommended recipe from the World Health Organization and so I feel pretty strongly about the safety but if you're unsure, it might be an item to just simply skip if you don't know the strength or if you're not used to making your own, maybe leave this one out. I do plan to create some bar soaps. As a matter of fact, I think that I will do that today when I'm done recording. Guys, I miss the days of all these little simple sound videos. Those of you who have come on this journey with me, you know exactly what I mean. You should definitely check out my podcast because I'm trying to do it as simple as possible like the good old days. Last but
but absolutely and certainly not least, the all too famous toilet paper shortage of 2020 <laughs> has taught us to always keep some on hand. I also posted to Instagram when I found a large truck that was delivering to Sam's Club last week. So I purchased two cases of toilet paper that day which is quite a lot, especially for our tiny little household. But I was able to share with the neighbors, so I felt a little less silly about it. But I feel very fortunate in that when this crisis is over, that we will have lots of toilet paper left behind <laughs> and we will put it to use. But until then, we will share it as neighbors do. Now, these are the basics of a very simple COVID-19 version of my hospitality basket. If you've been watching the news, you've probably heard them say that you really don't need a mask unless you are a healthcare provider or if you've been sick yourself. So, if you do have masks, I would urge you to find a health care provider and donate them. We are hearing reports that there are so many workers that are out and sacrificing and working and are unable to have the masks and equipment necessary to do so. So we have a responsibility with that. Then you may say, Krista, if you don't want us to put those items in your basket, then what else can I put in the basket? Well, if you've got someone who's not feeling well, Again, if it's COVID, we want to allow the healthcare providers to take care of that. But maybe they have allergies, maybe they've got a virus or the flu or something else. There's a lot of that going on where I live. People are getting little colds and little allergy sinus infections and they're afraid to so much as cough in the presence of another for fear that <laughs> they will be written off as part of the zombie apocalypse. But everyone who's sick does not have the COVID-19. It's important to remember that people do get little illnesses. So since they've got lots of children next door. Got a little thermometer here. We've also got these 
just to be safe, little thermometer tip covers. Thermometer tip covers. Tip covers. It says that they fit most digital thermometers. Also recommend any Motrin or Claritin or some kind of little over-the-counter remedies that some people may have a hard time finding at their local pharmacies at the moment. Lots of these shelves are very barren, as I'm sure most of you have noticed at this point. So when someone's not feeling well, it can be such a big help to simply have the small items that they require. I hope that this was helpful in giving you ways to help out a neighbor or just something to make you feel like you're giving back or doing your part. And I think that charity starts at home and those around us in our immediate vicinity can rely on each other so important. Let's not call each other paranoid or other names. Let's simply be here for one another and make sure that we keep our distance while at the same time maintaining that neighborly feel. You want to definitely socially distance and at the same time be there. Remember that there are so many ways to be present without technically being present. And let's keep that in mind and we will get through this together. I believe it. You all know that I care a great deal about you and I want every one of us to get through this and I know that we will. So I'm going to go now and I'm going to wish for you that you continue to have sweet dreams and I will see you next time.